Cloud Computing Cloud computing is a way of storing, assessing and saving your work online instead of saving it on your computer or your smartphone. You can think of it as a hard disk over the internet. The users can access files and applications anytime and from any device with an active internet connection. Cloud service includes database, networking, software, storage and servers over the internet in a seamless way. Individuals and companies can rent or buy cloud storage from a cloud service provider instead of owning and maintaining the complete computing infrastructure. This saves them the operating costs and problems associated with maintaining their own infrastructure. The idea of cloud computing was introduced by the scientist John McCarthy. He introduced the term time sharing which would enable the organizations to share a mainframe computer. But the term cloud computing was coined by Professor Ramnath Chalappa in the year 1997. In 1999, the first cloud computing services websites were launched Salesforce.com and Google. All the social networking sites such as Facebook, LinkedIn, MySpace, Twitter, Netflix, Skype and WhatsApp use cloud computing. In fact, all your personal data, photographs and other details that you share on these websites are saved on the cloud. Google Drive, Amazon Web Service, Dropbox, OneDrive, etc., are some examples of cloud backup services where you can save and keep your data secure. Alexa and Google Assistant are natural language cloud-based bots. A bot is a software program that can do repetitive tasks over the internet. Examples are chatbots, social bots, Google bot, etc. Benefits of using cloud computing some benefits of cloud computing are cost effective, eliminates the capital cost of maintaining computing infrastructure, speed and flexibility, allows faster access of resources from anywhere across the globe, ease of storage, it offers unlimited storage space relieving the user from the worries of running out of data storage space. Users do not have to worry about backups. It allows co-workers to easily share files and communicate with each other. Data security. Cloud offers advanced security and reliability features to the user for their data. There are many authentication, access control and encryption measures which do not allow unauthorized access to sensitive data. Risks of using cloud computing. Some risk of using cloud computing are your sensitive data might be at risk from hackers. Some people might face issues like data loss. The user is always dependent on the internet. So if the user is unable to connect to the internet, he or she cannot access their files and data. One drive. OneDrive was launched by Microsoft in 2007. It was also known as SkyDrive. OneDrive is a cloud file storage service. This cloud-based service gives the users a space to store and share documents. When a person is working on multiple projects, he or she have to deal with loads of files. These files occupy a lot of disk space on the laptop or desktop. The person might even want to access the images and documents from his or her mobile, iPad or laptop. OneDrive helps to reduce the clutter from the desktop and access these files to edit or read wherever the user is. This internet-based storage platform by Microsoft offers 5 GB free space to the user with Microsoft account. Windows 10 users have OneDrive as an inbuilt feature into their computer. To use the services of OneDrive, you must be registered with the Microsoft's website. To access the OneDrive, 
Follow the below steps. Step 1. Click on the Start button. The Start menu appears. Step 2. Click on the OneDrive app. The Microsoft OneDrive window appears. Step 3. Enter your email address registered with the Microsoft website and click on the Sign In button. Step 4. Enter the password and click on the Sign In button. Step 5. The address of the OneDrive folder of your computer appears. Click on the Next button. According to the next steps, click on the appropriate buttons. Finally, you will get OneDrive folder open on your screen. If you want to save a file or folder or document to OneDrive, drag the files into OneDrive folder. If you are working on some files in OneDrive folder, if you are working on some files in OneDrive folder and you are offline, OneDrive will automatically update the cloud files when you go online. Next time you do not need to sign in again. To access the files or sync local files into OneDrive, open File Explorer. Open File Explorer. On the left pane, you will notice a cloud icon named OneDrive. Click on the icon to view the files in OneDrive. But if you want to see the files or folders on the cloud, right click on the file and select the View Online option. You can create an account on OneDrive and store your work there. OneDrive helps you to share files or folders stored in it by a link sent through an email to the person you want to share.